So remember that time the night before you turned 24 when you thought you'd make cookies for everyone? Like when you're little? No? Just me? <laughs> well, that's what I'm doing today on Sweet Talk Live. Oatberry cookies, which are my invention, the great combination of frozen blueberries, vanilla yogurt, and oatmeal. So like I said, this is a healthy cookie, kind of. Either way, it is something I invented. I invented it when I was in college in a dorm, needed cookies. Actually, I wasn't in a dorm. I was in college in an apartment, needed cookies, like needed them. Didn't have any chocolate chips, didn't have any eggs. So Google helped me find some yogurt-based cookies, and I uh, changed up the recipe for myself. So there's a couple ingredients, obviously, that are a little out of the ordinary here with the yogurt. Um, I'm going to go over the ingredients with you and then just plop them in. Because this is one super simple cookie recipe. Because you can pretty much throw everything in this empty bowl, mix, scoop, and you're done. So first all you do is combine half a cup of vanilla yogurt, half a cup of regular sugar, half a cup of brown sugar, a fourth of a cup, which is a half a stick of butter, fourth of a cup of canola oil, and one teaspoon of vanilla. It looks like this. And you put it in your mixer. And then you're just going to add the dry stuff. So to your mixed ingredients, once they're all pretty much smooth, you want to add the dry ingredients, which is one and three-fourths cup of flour, one cup of oats, half a teaspoon of baking soda, and half a teaspoon of salt. Now the oats is where the fun comes in. I've made these cookies at least 20, 25 times, and I probably have only made them the same way three or four. I like to put an instant oatmeal package as some of my one cup of oats, because I think it gives it some fun and flavor. I mean, cinnamon swirl, I've had the most success with cinnamon bun, but I can't find it. So hopefully, you guys can let me know, those of you that are going to taste these, how the cinnamon swirl worked out for you. But same thing, put all your ingredients in here, and put them in the mixer. Now you want to add the most important part, frozen blueberries, one cup. And yes, frozen. This is a time when fresh really isn't better. The frozen blueberries do a couple things. Obviously, they put the flavor, put the chunk in the cookie, um, but they also hold better than if you used fresh ones because you put fresh ones in your mixer and you get all smashed. Plus, they give it a purple color. And uh, when I said purple, I meant purple. Pretty purple in here. <laughs> so here's where you're going to make another decision. Whatever size cookie scoop you have, whatever size cookie you want, just scoop them up. Um, this is when it gets hard not to uh, eat some of the dough. Those of us who have given up desserts for lunch are not eating them. But I'm going to give these to all the people I love, so I'm making a lot. Don't worry, you only have to make, you only have to watch me make these this time. But you just scoop them out, put them on your sheet, and you're going to bake them for 14 to 16 minutes at 375 degrees, and I promise I will show you what they look like right when they're done. Okay, I gave in to the yogurt because I can't have any of the cookies. But these cookies are really delicious. This is what they look like. They're blue and yummy and have blueberries, oats, and yogurt in them. Um, these cookies have gotten me out of work. These cookies have bribed people to work for me. These cookies are magical. And hopefully if you are at WCIU or Westwood or ICB this week, you will have one and you can tell me about them. And maybe I'll freeze myself some for later because it's a really good frozen. Anyway, thanks for watching Sweet Talk Live today, and I hope you all have an excellent night, excellent April 14th, and an excellent weekend. Talk to you soon.